panel recently recommended that all adults be screened for anxiety because the stress has become so prevalent in the U.S. It's just the latest recognition that we need to start talking about our mental health and taking it more seriously. Joining us now, Dr. Ken Duckworth with the National Alliance on Mental Illness. Dr. Duckworth, thanks so much for joining us. Can we start with talking about what your alliance does? Thank you, Richard. The National Alliance on Mental Illness is the largest grassroots organization of people who live with mental health conditions and their family who love them. There are, there are um, affiliates all across America, including in Sacramento. Let's talk about how important it is to bring this issue up, face it head on. We've heard so much about mental illness in just about every aspect of our life, from the pandemic, how we're dealing with that, to gun violence, to kids in elementary mm -hmm. school. How prevalent is it becoming in our society? Uh, the estimates from the Center for Disease Control run about typically about one in five, but there is evidence that the rates of anxiety and depression went up during the stresses of the pandemic. So, those so I think it's a good time for people to talk about it and to learn more. Yeah, so speaking of which, um, so the numbers seem to be going up. How important is it that we not only talk about that, but we try and figure out how to get over it and, and kind of reduce the stigmatism, the stereotype that, oh, we've got mental problems, we don't want to talk about that. We do want to talk about it now. Shame and isolation contribute to a lot of terrible outcomes, Richard. And this is one of the reasons I wrote NAMI's first book, You Are Not Alone. I interviewed real people who tell their story, about six people from California, they use their names, and they share what they learned. And the idea of that is instead of hiding in silence and shame, People could see someone like them, people from different races and ethnicities, ages, geographies, and outcomes. My hope in this was to bring these stories to life so that people don't feel alone. Let's talk about um, not only that resource, which is an incredible resource if people want help, but also NAMI, the organization, where else can people go for help if they want to answer questions? NAMI.org is a great website. The National Institute of Mental Health is a great website. If you have a primary care doctor or a pediatrician, they're often a very good place to start. They're the unsung heroes of the American mental health system. They're frequently overwhelmed, but a lot of people trust them and they can often provide screening and referral. And it is so important in this day and age, especially right now, uh, talk to somebody, reach out and do this. You Are Not Alone is the book, Dr. Ken Duckworth. Thank you so much for joining us this morning to talk about that and the crisis of mental health in our country right now. Doctor, thank you. Thank you, Richard. Have a great day. You too.